In terms of favorite YouTubers, one that always finds his way to the top of my list is Sam Onella Academy. For those of you who haven't heard of this guy yet, oh boy let me tell you. Sam Onella Academy is a comedy backslash educational YouTuber that makes videos about all kinds of wacky subjects. From funny stories about old popes to a video detailing the entire formation of South Sudan, Sam really does have it all. However, as Sam Onella really tends to focus more on the entertainment side of his videos, it can leave some holes in the actual educational side, leading to a number of small mistakes and inaccuracies over the some three and a half years Sam was active on YouTube. And yes, I'm saying was active because unfortunately the last time that Sam uploaded was all the way back in January 2020, almost two full years ago as of the making of this video. Please come back, Sam, we miss you. Anyways, with that being said, I've spent a lot of time meticulously fact-checking Sam's videos, and well, without further ado, here are 10 mistakes I found in Sam Onella's videos. Oh, by the way, these are in order of when the video was uploaded, and links to each one can be found in the descriptions of this video. Tico Bra has our first significant error. In this video, Sam uses elk and moose interchangeably. While being very similar and indeed being a very common mistake, elk and moose are actually two different animals. Despite this one relatively forgivable error, Sam actually leaves out a lot of details about Bra's escapades in the video. For example, Bra is believed to have actually died of a bladder infection from, I shit you not, holding his pee in for too long. In Thorium Rocks, the Three Mile Island disaster is depicted as having happened in the 1980s when in fact the meltdown actually happened in March of 1979. Also, at about 2 minutes 40, there's this picture which is only visible for one frame for some reason. I'm not sure why that's there, but whatever. The Religious Symbols video has a couple of minor details I'd like to point out. First of all, Sam saying that the Jewish Star of David was just a random symbol that they made their own isn't entirely correct. The Star of David, or the hexagram as it's known in geometry, has ties to Judaism going back as far as possibly the 3rd century. However, he is right in saying it didn't really become the well-known symbol it is today until the mid-1800s. And second, Sam's drawing of the Ohm symbol connects this loop on the right side here, but it's actually supposed to be open like this. And now we arrive at slang words I don't understand, the one that caused me to make this video in the first place. So, Sam says in this video that he doesn't understand the phrase chicken legs as an insult for like skinny people, and then proceeds to show a picture of a chicken drumstick. Fucking what? I'm sorry, but has this guy seriously never seen a chicken before? These dudes have really skinny legs, as you may notice with your eyeballs. And I mean, yeah, you could argue that the drumstick is technically part of a chicken's leg, but it's just that, it's a drumstick. And it's also the part of the leg that is, as you can see here, not visible on a live chicken. Absolutely no one calls this a leg, at least not here on the West Coast. I'm not sure why Sam doesn't get that this part of the chicken is what people are referring to. It's actually really uncharacteristic of him, so maybe he's trolling, but I'm not really sure. Not mentioning that the script for this video pretty much exactly follows Terari's Wikipedia article at some points almost word for word, it's at one point implied that Terari ate a 14 month old baby during his second stay at the hospital. In reality, it's not known if Terari really ate the baby or not, it could have just been a coincidence that it disappeared while he was there, but it does make a really nice climax for the story of this video, so you know what, I'm gonna let this one slide. In the historical inaccuracies video, Sam says that the Iron Maiden torture device was invented by archaeologists looking for something cool to put in a museum. This isn't true. This is just a theory proposed by Professor Wolfgang Schildes to explain the lack of evidence of existence for Iron Maidens before the 19th century. However, this doesn't completely rule out the possibility of them or something similar existing in medieval times. And in fact, descriptions of devices very similar to the Iron Maiden go back as far as 200 BCE, when the Spartan Nabus is said to have made something called the Iron Apego, which was similar, I guess. Scandalous Popes of the Middle Ages has a few minor errors in it. For example, the official known Catholic population of the United States is closer to around 22% than 23.9. But the main one I want to talk about is that Pope Stephen VI didn't just immediately turn around after the trial and chuck Pope Formosus' body into the Tiber River like the video states. In fact, the real story is actually pretty funny. After the trial, which by the way is historically called the Cadaver Synod, Pope Formosus' corpse was stripped of the papal clothes it wore for 
for the trial, and had three fingers cut off its right hand, officially invalidating every act of ordination Formosus had ever made, which ironically enough included his ordination of Stephen VI himself as a bishop, making him ineligible to be pope, and therefore paradoxically removing his right to invalidate Formosus's ordinations in the first place. The body of Formosus was then presumably channeling some real fuck you energy from Stephen, buried in a graveyard specifically meant for foreigners to the Papal States. It was only after this that Formosus' body was dug up a second time, tied to weights, and chucked in the Tiber River. While the octopus bit in the top 10 worst animal skeletons video is funny, I think it's a little weird to include it for the sole reason that it doesn't have a skeleton. It's like including a smart car on a list of 10 worst diesel trucks, if you know what I mean. It's just kind of out of place. Well, once again, the joke about the Impulsoria having 2 to 4 horsepower due to literally using the power from 2 to 4 horses is funny. It's also slightly incorrect in the implication that one horse can only output one horsepower. One horsepower is actually a measurement of energy, the energy specifically that is needed to lift 550 pounds of weight one foot over the course of one second. And the output of a horse, strangely enough, can be up to 15 times this amount of energy, or around 15 horsepower. Before we get to number one, let's just do a lightning round of some honorable mentions here. How to gain weight. The video is mostly fine, but the title makes it sound like Sam's gonna talk about fat weight when he's really referring to muscle mass. History of sushi. No one knows for sure that sushi was actually created in Japan in the 900s, and there's actually some evidence to support that the practice of storing raw fish and rice dates back to the 400s in China. Fire diamond. Sam's description of the word oxidizer here isn't entirely correct, but to be fair, if you don't already know what it is, it can be a bit confusing. In Sam's most recent video about the William D. Porter, this plane is apparently supposed to be a Japanese D-3A dive bomber, however this is clearly just a P-51 Mustang with some Japanese livery. Which is ironic since Sam makes a joke about how the crew of the Porter wasn't able to shoot down the plane since it wasn't American. Oh yeah, and speaking of which, Sam forgot to mention that at said Battle of Okinawa, the Porter shot down not one, not two, but three friendly American aircraft, causing people who met the crew afterwards to jokingly say, don't shoot at us, we're Republicans. And those are 10 inaccuracies in Salmonella's videos. Just want to mention absolutely no hate towards Salmonella or any of his content or any of the research he's done. Like I said, Salmonella is definitely one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, but I thought I should just clear some things up. If you did like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and my name is Sakiris, and I'll See you guys next time. Goodbye.